Talk 1. Questions 1 through 5. Listen to a talk given by a professor. Welcome to Biology 101. I'm Professor Martin, and this is your laboratory assistant, Peter Smith. This course meets twice a week for lecture and once a week for laboratory assignments. The text for this course is Introduction to Biological Sciences by Abramson. You should get the text and read the first chapter before the next class. You will also need to get the laboratory manual that accompanies the text. I've passed out a copy of the course syllabus. This syllabus lists the reading assignments and exam dates. Note that we will cover one chapter a week for each of the next 15 weeks in the semester, and there will be three exams throughout the course. Grades in this course are based on your exam grades and your grades on the laboratory assignments. Are there any questions? Number one. When does this talk probably take place? Number two. How often will Professor Martin give lectures? Number three. What is the assignment for the next class? Number four. What information is given in the syllabus? Number five. What will the professor use to determine the final course grades? Talk 2. Questions 6 through 10. Listen to a lecture given by a professor. In yesterday's class, we discussed the volcanoes located in the area known as the Ring of Fire, an area which basically encircles the Pacific and includes the United States' Mount St. Helens, as well as Japan's Mount Fuji and Argentina's Aconcagua, the highest mountain in the Western Hemisphere. Most of the world's approximately 500 active volcanoes are located along the Ring of Fire, and the eruptions that take place there are among the most violent in the world. Today, we are going to discuss the volcanoes of Hawaii, which are quite different from the volcanoes in the Ring of Fire. Hawaiian volcanoes are not located along the Ring of Fire, and are therefore not caused by the movement of the Earth's plates against each other. Instead, Hawaii is located in the middle of the Ring of Fire, above a massive plate rather than where two plates meet. The result is that Hawaiian volcanoes are much gentler than those in the Ring of Fire. Hawaiian volcanoes have much less gas in them, which causes less explosive eruptions, and the lava in Hawaiian volcanoes is thinner, which results in mounds that are long and low rather than high and steep, because the lava flows farther and builds mounds gradually with long, low slopes. Mauna Loa, the name of one of Hawaii's most famous volcanoes, actually means long mountain. Number six. What was the topic of yesterday's lecture? Number seven. What is the topic of today's lecture? Number eight. Where are most of the world's active volcanoes located? Number nine. What is characteristic of Hawaii's volcanoes?
Number 10. What is Mauna Loa?